Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. I couldn't help, I had to come back to Batu Galaxy's Edge here in Disney's Hollywood Studios at night. And it is just a dream world for sci-fi and Star Wars fans. So on today's show, speaking of dreams, of all things, we're actually reviewing an alarm clock. Is there any relevancy for an alarm clock in this day and age? Let's find out. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Welcome to Wreckedology. So if you liked last week's show, or I should say last weekend's show about the Studebaker boombox, mega boombox, it was huge, you might be interested in this. This is a Studebaker workstation, basically an alarm clock that does everything. Now, an alarm clock in this day and age, I had since long since given up alarm clocks. The last one I had, I got at Walmart for like nine, you know, maybe five bucks with the red LED display, the terrible, you know, alarm sound. And I have not had an alarm clock bedside with me for years and years and years. So this would be the first time that has happened. What I plan to do is unbox this and then I'm gonna use it for a period of days because I'm filming this in advance and then uh, by the time you're watching this video i will have tried it out for several days and i'm going to give you my experience using it for that period of time this is the sb505 ob and even though the packaging and overall studebaker brand is kind of retro 50s this to me kind of has a little bit more of a modern vibe still a bit retro i guess with like the chrome accents and like we did last week i'm going to park it on the back here it's got a lot of features. I'm not going to read them all off. It does have a CD player. It does charge. It's got the QI charging system. It's got a remote control. You can charge earbuds. You can charge app smartwatches. You can charge multiple phones at the same time. And it's got all sorts of features and I'm excited to try it out. My biggest problem with an alarm clock is the clock. And what I mean by that is... For me, calming down enough to sleep to begin with is, is a trick. That's why I listen to the movie audio. We've talked about that before. And part of that is, for some reason, if I see the time in the middle of the night, it can make me start, you know, kind of freaking out about the fact I've got meetings in a couple hours I've got to be up early for. And so I typically don't like to look at clocks while I'm trying to sleep. So in the middle of the night, if I get up to go to the bathroom or get a drink of water or something, I don't typically look at the time. And maybe I'm alone in that, but it'll be interesting. But I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a try. Wow, this is a huge power supply. It's like a it's like a laptop power supply. So that'll have to kind of hide down behind the nightstand. And then what is this? Oh, this is the AC power for the power brick itself. And we've got the remote. Pull off the styrofoam back here. It's heavy. It's got good weight to it. I mean you don't it's not one of those things you pick up and you're like, oh my gosh, it's so cheap. No, it feels like it's a good quality weight to it. It's wrapped the same way that boombox was with tissue paper and then plastic around the tissue paper. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do it quite like that, but why not? And true to form, I opened it upside down. Yeah, this has good heft to it. It feels as it should. It's large. It is a lot bigger than the last alarm clock that I ever owned. And it's it's more expensive too. This is a $250 piece of equipment, but it has great reviews. People say that the sound is amazing. So I am here for it. I am here to give it a test and uh, see what I think. Back here, we got the antenna wrapped up. Now, these little uh, charging pads, I think it'll do 7.5 watts on Apple, which apparently Apple limits QI charging to 7.5, I did not know that. So it's, you know, the low power wireless charging is five watts, and then the high power is 10 watts. I don't know if you can go 15 on wireless, but those are the two major ones. This, I think, has a capability to go up, but, you know, Apple apparently limits third-party wireless charging to 7.5, at least according to what I read. I may have that wrong. And there's these little rubber rings here to keep the phone stable when you place it on there. But I also noticed these in the package, audio with heavy bass can display smartphone during wireless charging. Add this mat for extra stability. 
can this alarm clock really handle so much bass or play so much bass that I need a stabilizer? And is this like adhesive or what is this? Okay, it's not adhesive, it's just really tacky rubber. So, oh, I see, and it, it really grips on nicely to this smooth plastic finish. Okay, fair enough. This is very unique. I've never seen anything like this. Okay, I don't, that would drive me crazy trying to get these like I would have to have these like squared up there it is we've got these chrome plastic buttons here we got a bluetooth out button repeat clock set memory program pair button tuning skipping all hang up the phone answer the call all sorts of buttons eq scan different lights showing which charger is active bluetooth the timer and we got open and close button for the uh, cd drive on the front, there's the clock, there's the CD drive, uh, source button, power button. Around back, we actually have a charging USB jack, 12 volt power supply, aux in, FM antenna. Down here, we've got a battery backup for the alarm clock. Yeah, looks cool. Looks really cool, rubber feet. The remote control has all the features that I've seen on the device itself. And then some, looks like we can put some presets in here with the radio, with everything it can do. Maybe even program the CD player itself. Does have the nice big snooze and sleep button right there. So like I said, I'm going to use this for several nights and not only, now what does this do? Looks like it pops up. I think I remember seeing, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. So this pops up. Anyway, I'll figure all of this stuff out and I'm going to use it for a few nights and then I will be back as far as you're watching this instantaneously to tell you how it works and what I think of it. Okay, so at this point, it's been a couple of days. I have had the unit now for a couple of nights and we've got a couple of problems, a couple of issues. The first of which and the biggest issue quite figuratively and literally is that the unit is huge. It's like way too big for what it is. It's way too big. It needs to be like at least half of the size that it is. It takes up the entirety of my nightstand, which I'll show you in a minute. It's just way too big. So that being said, I've proceeded anyway, and it is handy to have the wireless charger, but you know, I've had wireless chargers before and you can get them much cheaper and they take up a lot less space by themselves. And I'm not gonna charge two phones side by side because my wife has a separate charger for her and it would be inconvenient for her to like pass me her phone at the end of the night and put both of them there. So having dual chargers, not as practical. Now I do have one pair of earbuds. They're the Grado 220s, GW220s I think, that have a wireless charging capability. So I did try charging those on there and that worked good. I did take the extra sort of peel and stick rubber piece off because it was unnecessary. I really need to play around with the sound and, and really get an idea for the sound quality. So I'll let you know what I think. It's still a couple days before this video gets posted. So I want to spend some more time with it and really see if this is practical or not. So as you can see, it's just, it's just massive. It takes up the entire space and I want to be able to put other things up there. Okay. So it is now Wednesday, and like I said, I've spent some time with this unit, and I've definitely got some opinions, so I want to share them with you. And, you know, it's different than we usually do reviews here. Usually, we review it as we unbox it. It's that brand new first impressions kind of a review. But sometimes certain products lend themselves to, you know, spend some time with it and really see, you know, how your opinion may change which is why on the products that we do new reviews on like turntables, oftentimes we'll do it one year later. So after you've spent some time with it, you you know, maybe your opinions change or whatever. So overall, let me just say this. I have some strong opinions on this and not all of them are good. Some of them are. By the way, the alarm is set right now to 115. So we're gonna experience that uh, together. It's now 113 and the flicker you see on the display is just on camera to the naked eye it's completely still there's no none of that but before the alarm goes off i just want to throw out there a couple of observations aside from the fact it's massive 
the the power supply seems to be ridiculously large as well and the only reason i can figure is that the amperage on it is, is a little bit high it's a 12 volt but six amp power supply and i'm not exactly sure why it needs that level of amperage i'm sure you guys could tell me maybe it's the wireless charging i'm not exactly sure overall i think the product is cool it's got a, it's got a good aesthetic to it it's got a good vibe the real question though is the practicality is it a practical thing to have on my nightstand and i can tell you right now i am not planning on putting this back on my nightstand mostly because i just don't have room for it I do like the wireless charging, but you know, I've got a million wireless chargers and that's an easy thing to put on the nightstand and not take up a lot of room. Plus I'm never gonna charge more than one thing at a time. And uh, for me, that was sort of the novelty of this was the wireless charging and whatnot. And as far as a CD player, I, it's cool to have, but am I listening to CDs bedside? Not usually. And we do have another small system in, in the bedroom if we needed to listen to a CD or wanted to but it's just not a uh, a typical thing that I would do. I don't know, there's the alarm. It's getting louder. And then the snooze. So yeah, at least it's not that horrible 90s screeching alarm clock sound. That's what I was afraid it was gonna do. And obviously you can additionally program it to, um, to play, you know, I think the radio was the other choice, uh, at least when I was setting up that alarm. Another thing is, is I had to literally revert to setting the uh, alarm uh, instructions in the manual because look how many steps just to set the alarm. It, every button here does like two or three things. And even this functions as a dimmer control on, uh, on this nightlight down here, which I'll get to in a minute. So, it's not that intuitive. I mean, the basic operation is, but you would think that setting an alarm would be super easy and it's, it takes a few steps. There's a, well, you can see right here, it takes nine steps to set the alarm. Actually, no, it's strike that. It takes 12 steps to set the alarm. And so that's a, it's a bit complicated for what it is. And when you're, you know, falling off to sleep and you're like, oh, I forgot to set the alarm, you don't want to be pulling out a manual. So, you know what I mean? It's just frustrating in that in that way. This thing has some, some very cool capabilities. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, so this is, I think I mentioned earlier for this smartwatch, specifically Apple watches. I don't have an Apple watch. I use a Fitbit, but um, and my Fitbit doesn't use wireless charging. It has like a proprietary charger that magnetizes onto the back with metal contacts. But if you had a, an Apple watch or some sort of... Uh, Apple device, Apple watch device, and I'm using as a prop this very cheap old smartwatch. Um, the idea is you could put it like that uh, and that this would wirelessly charge it. The reason why it comes up is that with the wristband, it may make it harder to lay flat onto that. You can dim the display. There's three levels. It's on the brightest now for daytime filming. And then there's also this nightlight underglow thing under here that shines down on uh, the table or on the nightstand, whatever. And you can, again, three levels of brightness for that. And I have found, and see how it's like pulsating down there a little bit? And then you'll see this flickering. That's all on camera. To the naked eye, it doesn't do any of that. But the dimmest setting of this underglow was still too bright in the bedroom at night. So I uh, ended up turning that off, which is a bummer because I like the idea of the underglow. I think that's kind of cool. But the real real surprise here the real treat and the best thing about this unit is the sound quality um if we open it up we will see that there is a compact disc in there frank sinatra september of my years a great concept album by the way this thing just it's cd is amazing but i don't need or want stereo high quality sound bedside i mean what are you gonna why would you need stereo two stereo speakers it's not like you're gonna be staring at this thing directly to get stereo, you know what I mean? Like this is a device that should have a mono speed. There's no reason to not have mono. You don't need stereo in this scenario. But let me go ahead and uh, put on the front facing mics and let's uh, demonstrate the sound quality. It may surprise you. I've seen that face before. It was a very good year. 
put her hand in mine and said she loved me. The sound, it sounds better than any alarm clock needs to sound. It, it's, it's a fantastic sound system. So you may say to yourself, well, fine, we'll consider it a sound system and let's put it, you know, somewhere else in the house, which you could, but then it's like, do you really need these uh, giant wireless charging stations? Do you need the alarm clock? And I don't even like an alarm clock per se. I don't like there being a blaring clock by the side of the bed, as I said before. So for me, I'm not finding like that use case that makes sense for me and this device. By the way, uh, the uh, remote is Functional, it seems to do well. It's powered off of two AAA batteries. It, it's uh, ergonomic. It has all the controls you would need. I feel like you can do everything from the front panel or top panel that you can from the remote. There doesn't seem to be any special things here. Maybe the mute uh, feature. I don't know if that's available on, on the device itself. But it seems kind of redundant. And also, usually you're within arm's reach of an alarm clock. So having to dig for an additional remote kind of seems like it's, it's odd to have a remote for an alarm clock. It's, you know what I mean? The whole thing seems kind of, it seems like it's a bit miscalculated. At the end of the day, I somehow feel torn on this device. On one hand, I really like it. I think it's cool. I think it's interesting. It's different. It's very unique. And on the other hand, I'm just trying to find a practical use case for it. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think what your inputs are, what your thoughts are regarding it. And uh, maybe this will ignite a conversation that'll be kind of interesting. Or maybe I'm missing an obvious use case or a benefit that I'm just not seeing right now. But regardless, it's been a blast playing with it, learning about it. That's not Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. That is Grauman's Chinese Theater here in Hollywood Studios. That is a one-to-one -one scale replica using the original blueprints. It even has celebrity handprints in the middle area over there. And they're not copies, they are original. Celebrities came out, so they're different celebrities than the one in Hollywood. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's show, but that's gonna do it for today. So happy record hunting. We'll see you next time.